guys kept coming back every week and trusting me when things got hard, trusting me when we missed sessions, trusting me when choices were made on my end as a dungeon master, whether it be combats or role plays or NPCs, I just genuinely cannot overstate how how much I felt the faith that I've never felt from players before. And the trust in me as a DM is the greatest gift you guys have ever given me. So I'm very thankful for that trust. And it's not something that I that I take for granted. I want you all to know that. That trust and that kind of, that faith in me is not something I take for granted every time we start up on Friday. I can, I am only as good as you guys allow me to be. And you guys have allowed me to dungeon master a game that I've been so proud of to call this our game. That's it for me. Dasha, you next. Because you thought you were getting away with it. Let's see. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I have one. Get out of your hoodie. <laughs> I don't want to. Anyways. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm just thankful for all of you guys and letting me come into the campaign halfway through as a stranger and coming out as like some of my best friends. That's pretty cool. It's pretty swag if I do say so myself. I'm just very grateful for all of you and I'm very grateful you guys being patient with me and like as I learn D&D and like help me flourish in this confusing mess of a game but I really enjoyed it and I love you guys. To yourself, bitch. <laughs> Pick someone. Oh, fuck. Um, Karina. Oh, you're mid-chew. Karina, after she's done chewing. <laughs> Is thought she, would, she thought she would get away with it. She's going to take a bite every time. I was so... Can can we play Ryan to go first? Nope. It's going to have to be Karina, unfortunately. Karina! Yeah. Okay. I'm grateful right. for meeting you all and letting me be this crazy little fey thing uh, to horrify you in the start of the game. And for being very good friends at the end of it. Thank you. I'm so grateful for everything that has happened so far. Last three, two and a half years? I think we have two, two and a half years. years. Two and a half years. Yeah. And uh, you guys changed my life uh, in the better way. So, love y'all. Ryan! Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Um, coming from my throat. Oh my god. Um, no, I'm I'm ridiculously thankful to all of you. Um, being here from the start, like I, uh, I took some big swings with Hoxley. That that wasn't something that I I would normally do, and I feel like it it kind of it set a tone. Uh, and the fact that everyone was like there for it, and like, yeah, just like when we all came together, I'm I'm. So thankful you're you're uh, you're my best friends. Uh, ridiculous. Um, yeah, l love you all, and this has been amazing. Uh, let's go, Bren. Um. Yeah. Um. I know it's a, definitely a broken record by now. Um grateful to know and be friends with each of you i personally i have a lot of social anxiety and it's just really hard for me to meet people so it was definitely a leap to kind of jump into a random ass discord server with a bunch of chuckle fucks i'd never met in my life um but something about it was just very genuine um and everyone kind of just wore their heart on their sleeves in a way that i haven't really seen before um, you've kind of seen me at my ups and downs, um, and just have never not kind of shown how willing you are to talk or support or whichever. You all have saved my life a couple of times. Um, very grateful to know each of you. I don't know who's left. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, Ryan. Juice and Arrow. Uh, juice. I had to say it with the Discord minimalized because they can't look at you when I say it. Um, yeah. <laughs> man, I could talk about y'all all day. Sometimes I do with other people. 
And it's really interesting because I feel like I do share it with you all that, like, how impactful you've been. But I think the way I could disclose it best to you would be that I have climbed to the highest heights I've ever achieved in my life with you all there to hold me up to make those changes. And thank you. Um, I don't know if I could have did it without you, to be honest. So I appreciate it. I love you all. And um, I want to give a huge shout out to one of my best friends, Jared, for taking the reins of something massive when I couldn't hold it anymore for a while and doing just a great job, bro. I watched all of it. You did so good, dude. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. All right, Eric, you better go. <laughs> we can't hear I anybody. don't have a... Oh, no, uh, we can't. Uh, My bad. I haven't, I haven't started yet. Uh, I've always had a hard time keeping connections with people. They either fall off or things don't really extend past of like, Oh, I know that guy from online. The amount of people I, before I met you guys, the amount of people I, I like stay connected with and was still friends with for like consistently, uh, at least recently, like I could count those people on one hand. And now I, now thanks to you guys, I've gone to two hands. At least I can say that. And I know none of us have met in person, but I know more of you uh better than some people i know i've known in person and you guys were the reason i was able to keep playing D D when no game could last longer than a few sessions um when things got when life got slow if that makes any sense and while i've been in games where sometimes i Felt like I wasn't sure if I was up for the session that week. This game was always something I looked forward to, no matter what I was feeling or what was going on. Even even the session where like I would just come to watch because of whatever reason, even that I'll look forward to just so that I can hang out with you guys some more. So thank you for just being there and letting me be in the group and everything. Uh Shit, I'm at the uh, uh, before we jump in, I got I one at... final shout out to my four boys, Juice, Ryan, Era, and Bren. You guys have been there from the start. And sorry, Dasha and Karita, this isn't ooh, anything ooh. against y'all, but I got to shout out my boys because y'all took a leap on me. And even when the going got rough and we were in the trenches, you four boys showed up every single week. And y'all were all committed. You made this, you really made me truly feel for the first time. Dasha and Karina, you as well. But for my four boys, when we was in the trenches, we were struggling. Y'all really told me, you showed me that it was a group effort. And I've never felt that solidarity in terms of running a Dungeons and Dragons game before until I met you guys four. And then because of you four, I felt the confidence to bring in everyone else. So it really is because of y'all. That's something that I can't, I've been feeling that for a long way, and it's really your, you four, when shit happened, you guys were the first people to say, yes, here's what we do, we're down for it, let's go, and we're all aligned in that, and you guys have been in my corner ever since. So to my four boys that started back at Cadbury, <laughs> y'all, you four boys hold a special place in my heart. So with that, I saw we are going to get started. Started unless there's any other questions, comments, or concerns. I still remember okay. when I had I had to transition from playing, like it was seven p.m. my time to yeah, man. four a.m. my in the time. Trenches, ah. man, in the fucking trenches. D and D became. Uh, I started training D and D like Patrick thought of uh, trying patties in the morning. Ooh, boy, three a.m. Oh boy, three a.m. Oh boy, D and D. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to get started with the last session of this campaign. One final time. Hey, Jockey Music. I'll never Jockey forget music. you, Hydra Brot. Let it Hydra Brot. 
I know. Here. But but it was something special being like every time it's like, hey Hydra. Hey, hey Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> right, it was man. the extra pizzazz. Right, you never forget. Go. We begin tonight. Everyone is dressed in their finest regalia here in the Tower of Eden, as this large arcane construct of unique design has been erected in the ante room. You all arrived some hours ago, mingling with the different people of Zargos, as well as many familiar faces. Until at long last, the previous Emperor, Zarek, addresses everyone. For the last long while, we have fought and struggled for a chance. A chance to continue, and a chance to live. Along the way, we lost many. But we lost them so the rest of us could succeed. It has been six months since the battle with the Eternal ended and the Empire has disbanded. As the nations of the Empire have started the transition, let us welcome the Council of Garrix, the High Marshal of Eoveland, and the three kings of the Sigorian Firelands. As claps echo throughout the antechamber, you see the people in question arise, there are nods towards them, they clap, and some other words are spoken as well about how, with the Empire's dissolution, diplomacy has never been more important. And everyone seems, for now, committed to that pursuit. Zarek once again addresses the audience. Though I not hold the position of Emperor any longer, I leave the free city of Zargos in the capable hands of our new masters of coin, affairs, and arms. The free city of Zargos is happy to announce an official partnership with the Cloud Splitter Trading Company, led by our valuable allies, the Remains. With these four pillars, Zargos will strive to become a city that can be an example to all. As we bring an end to this nightmare, allow us all to continue to dream a bit longer and take pride in the steps we take forward. And with that, the once emperor calls for the construct to begin. And after many moments of whirring and charging cylinders and spheres undulating and rotating with this arcane uh, energy built inside, a condensed burst happens. Almost like if you put a dome over a small grenade and it explodes. And the Omega amulet affixed to the edge is gone. The party commences. Is there anything you all would like to do here in this big gathering of individuals? Any, all of your allies are here. Anything you guys would like to do before I proceed forward? I want to talk to Yuri. Absolutely. Where does Cloris find you, Yuri? Where in the party are you at? Um, if it's like, is it like a cocktail party kind of thing? I know, yeah. Okay, yeah. he's the one guy that's actually sitting at one of the tables. One of the high the high tables that no one likes to sit at. Um just staring into a drink. <clears throat> I just shoot like a druid craft behind him <laughs> to grow into like a large flower on his uh, chest pocket. A small kind of what is it? Um like a corsage blooms on your lapel you immediately feel you know how it is like you know who it is by second nature your eyes don't even raise from the glass but you can feel the presence coming towards you evening this doesn't fit, fit the theme <laughs> there white one for peace i meant flowers but okay <sighs> You have to stick with one. I can't throw seaweed at you, okay? I could, but... That will also want... not fit the theme. <laughs> What's your theme? War? I'm, su <laughs> I'm supposed to be here as a uh, business. All the other business people have uh, flowers. Yep. No. They do now? <laughs> You look around, you <laughs> druid craft, and almost simultaneously small corsages appear. They all <sighs> turn their heads as the remaining magical energy kind of comes back to your fingertips, and they look 
You're like, no. Okay. Weird, but no one really is like, some people just take it off and like hold it, like respectfully be like, hey, and put it away, but absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry, but I was actually serious for a second. I will be serious for a second. I don't, I think so. Okay. Um, how should we play this? What? Like, the diplomacy thing. I'm not good at that. <laughs> well, a lot of it, I'm assuming, is just playing it by ear. We have official um, whichever contracts we've got with the free city now, so we have a voice. That doesn't mean we have to listen to anything. I just don't want war. You know, I'm tired of war. I think we're safer than that for the time being. I have roots in Zagos, so I'm not going anywhere. Good. I will I have always... my ear to the ground for the imminent future. All right. All right. Um. Bye. That's it. I enjoy your cocktail. I'm sneaking and wandering around. Okay. Anyone else during this part? Artorius is here, right? Artorius is here with the Queen Yana and flanked by attendees, handmaidens. There's a small little uh, baby nestled Holy in these white shit. blankets. So look at that. I'm going over there. Yeah, you see Artorius. He's uh, talking to some, what look to be some officials from another nation. Uh, Officiants from all nations in Premio have gathered here today. Uh, you see Artorius kind of sees you. He says, uh, kind of like says, hey, we'll continue our conversation later. And he spots you, Bart. Kind of extends a hand out. You grab it and you shake it firmly. Barthaldi? How are you? Doing well, all things considered. Um, I don't think you've met our son. Um, Yana, she... Kind of stands up a bit from her seat as she calls for one of her aides to give uh, her her baby as she holds it. Uh, this is our son. Um, this is Prince Garland. Wow. So really the time has changed. A new era is upon us, huh? I think so, yeah. Hopefully it's as beautiful as him. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I actually, now's not the time, but I heard you were stationed in Leyland, yeah? In Lucia. Uh, that's where we set up shop, yeah. But we might also start expanding our properties. We haven't decided yet. Okay. Um, well, if that's the case, then I, I have a couple of documents I want you to review. I'll send them over to Lucia, or I can send them to your keep in Ormond. Which do you prefer? I haven't talked to the others yet, but I don't think I'll be at the keep very much anymore. Okay. I mean, I, I think it's been like over a year since you all were there, so. Yeah, so better to send it to Lucia. Great. I'll do that then. We'll talk more after all of this is done. I. I think I can say with certainty we have time. Yeah, and it feels kind of nice to say that, right? It, it does. Enjoy the rest of the party. I'll see you later. And you just kind of You too. It's off. Absolutely. Anyone else? I think Dasha wants to do something. Um, but I can go in between. For sure. Do we see any, like, business people, like, who seems like the eccentric? type of kind there are definitely business people but like they're not here to talk business like and you okay. attempt to but the most you yeah. get is like yeah for sure we'll yeah, talk no. we'll have a meeting we'll do this here's my card my people will talk to your people there's a lot yeah, of I'm, I'm, going I'm, on <laughs> mm. can yeah, i just find find the most eccentric person uh that seems be like hard you to would top be... hoxley and amitsuchi to be honest okay like not at the same level just for sure. Like, I have so much money that I don't care where I invest in. Okay. 
What are you trying to invest in? Oh, no, I'm trying to get them to invest in my endeavor. <laughs> okay, cool. That's kind of, I assume that was the case. Absolutely. And we'll kind of pick that up moving in a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> we kind of had already assumed that being the case, for sure. Anyone else? <laughs> Dasha I have did a question. Have is Brutus there? Brutus is there. I'm pulling um, Chloris, Kurt, and Brutus into a table. I have a proposition. Brutus, you have your dragon. Kurt has his phoenix. I have Lyca. Chloris has a plethora of animals. And I'm proposing we set up a play date for them, maybe like once every three months, bare minimum. Just to keep in touch. I think I think the socialization would be good for Lyca. She's having a really hard time socializing with other creatures. You know that could be arranged. Um, that's Kelly, and that could be arranged. <laughs> so just want to um, see you guys and have a reason to see y'all. Uh, we. I, I don't know how hard of a date we can set for that, because we are going to be in the astral plane, but I get, we can, like, travel, I fine. guess. It'll be right. fine. Word of recall. Sure. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, oh, this is a good question. Did Leaky, like, disappear when Cove died? <laughs> Familiar um, disappears when its spellcaster passes. But my shrubs. Shrubs to life. They are not Yes! Animals. The shrubs! <laughs> that not Where animals. are the shrubs? Where the are shrubs are not immortal. Shrubs? I'll be honest. Like They will die. Like They are probably dying <laughs> soon. Like A plant does not live for more than a year. You know? Especially when they're not watered. <laughs> they are if they're succulents! They're shrubs! They're shrubs. Okay? You got bushes. They're hey, going to hey, die in like eight are months. Are they time mint plants? Back. By any chance, they mint plants? Because I can't no, kill them. No, they're plants. bushes. Um, I'll Google what type of plant they are and see how long they live. It, it's fine. It should be good. It should be good. We can work it out. I just needed to voice this. This is happening now. Let's see if it ain't going with that. Thank you for your compliance, Brutus. I appreciate it. How are you doing after being brought back from the dead and stuff? You doing good? The bones are feeling fine? No creaking? It's been doing, yeah, some stressing. Trying to get back at it. Uh, I do have to leave soon. Check up on my son, actually. Tell him to say hi. I will. Anyone else? I gotta go see Eric's my boy there? Brutus. Yeah. Who's? Yeah, Zerk is there. Worth all the in Brutus. Shake his hand. I mean, I've probably already thanked you a thousand times for helping us. You were an anomaly in my life, you know that? Probably say the same about you all. Anytime you need me, just ask. I know who to call. That's true. Also, when... You guys did a pretty good thing. I don't know who else did that. I didn't believe we could until we did, so... <laughs> I always knew. Well, now that makes two of us now. Good hug. Big hug. All right. I want to see your son when he's full grown. That's it. <laughs> okay. Looking around for your allies, Zarek and Vaxlin, you notice they aren't anywhere to be found. Kind of seemingly disappeared from the ante room. Slipping away, you all are able to find 
the two warriors in a room which door was lightly ajar. You hear frivolous and rapid movement as you approach the door, and as you peer your heads in, they stop in their tracks. They're no longer dressed in regalia, they're dressed in armor, looking like they're going out, their weapons to the side, and they almost sheepishly stop, just... Almost got away. Yeah. out early? Are we? What? <laughs> kind of Axel goes, yes, we're leaving. It's so never your okay. scene anyways. All right, I would... No, I, you know what? I expect this of you. I expect this of you. I would very much like to say, take care of each other. We did a lot for this guy to live, so you make sure he lives a, an awesome life. Hmm. And come back in six months. <laughs> no promises. I have a wedding. You will be there. I'm going to come back you. whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Zarek will be there. I make no such promises. I look at Bart. This is your problem. <laughs> and I will give uh, Zarek the gleam collar. Uh, what's this? Don't do it here. I, I never figured out a way to beat a dragon in a challenge, but I think you're smarter than me. You just wanted to play rock, paper, scissors. That's true. <laughs> I thought it was Thanks. my best chance. I'll, I'll keep this in mind. It's a dragon. Um, it's a Feywild dragon. No, that makes it look so much better. Yeah, um, Vaxlim and I are heading out. We're, um, I'm going to try to do some good. You see, he draws the sword of Kraya and kind of holds it in his hand. I don't think it ends with the Eternal. I think there's a lot of bad still out there. And I think we can contribute to that. You guys gave me an opportunity to continue living when I was resigned to be a martyr. So I feel like I have to honor that and well I think after everything you all have been through you deserve a much needed rest. Someone's got to fight the good fight. And Thanks for passing the torch on to me. It's in really good hands. Vaxlin kind of looks to you, Bart. You not coming? Nah. I'm tired of fighting. Lazy. You only get two lives, apparently. Yeah, don't waste this one. I was thinking the same. Huh. I'll draw, or I'll draw the sword and just kind of hand it, like, help first to Vaxlin. It should go to someone that's fighting the good fight. He reason. takes the sword. Go ahead. Yeah, a reason to keep going. You can't describe it, Bartholdi, but the second you not just let go of the sword, but your intent to release the sword, you feel your shoulders get lighter. Uh. And you know in that moment that you're no longer the champion of Ale. That torch has been passed, waiting for another to take its place. I get the sense it was always meant to be this way. You'll find someone for it. He puts it to his hip and ties it. Yeah. 
Well, we better get going. Um, cover for us. Hmm. And yeah, anything's here. I'll still be able to handle it. I know time's going to be relative where you're going, but if you could make it, the date would be cool. I know, no problems. Just kind of gives him a pat on the side, or like gives him a hug. Doesn't matter. He kind of gives you that one-handed hug back, kind of chest to chest. And then as you kind of break away, he pulls you in tighter. We're not done yet. You still owe me. Kind of pushes you back. Oh, I'll be ready. I'm just going to do a different kind of training. Look forward to seeing it. With that, Zer draws his sword. He makes a X cut in the sky as this fabric of reality shunts open and they walk in. It closes behind them and they're gone from this room. We are now going to move forward six months within the first six months after Zarek and Vaxlam leave on their journey. We're going to start with Bart first. Bam! Right out of the gate, Bart, Jesus, I'm behind here. You've decided to give your decision in person. The letter opened with the seal of the queen kind of tossed to the side. You're closing up this shop, the leftovers, as you kind of say goodbye to a couple of employees. You tighten the lock. You go to Chloris, who can still use uh, transport via plants. And both you go onwards to the capital city of the Kingdom of Aura and the nation of Eusmus, Ormond. You meet with the king consort and the queen, and it's a very informal meeting. It's not in the large antechamber where they sit on their thrones above everyone they meet. This is an intimate seating for just you two and then the other two individuals who rule this nation. Artorius kind of leans forward. So, um, you're going to do it? You're going to take my old Garland's old spot? You could use an experienced warrior training the next generation. Hmm. I wish I could say that I was capable of such a thing, but I think I'm done fighting. I feel like I fought all the battles I needed to fight in the manner I was fighting. And I just feel a different calling for now. And what is that? I want to feed the hungry and the misfortuned. People often think about fighting the big fights that matter, but I find that you do the most good when people are at their lowest. And nobody ever notices those moments. Well, somebody used to, but <laughs> he's not here anymore, so I'm going to do the best I can the way I know how for him. And that's what I'm going to do. You ever need a meal, though, you know where to come. Uh, we'll take you up on that. And, um, I get it. If you ever change your mind, the offer's open. I should then the need to rise. I'll be there. <laughs> kicks open as you finish that. And you see these two guards restraining this small individual as John, his, his arms held up, the robes flowing underneath. Miss Queen, can you tell these fools to let go of me? You see, she gets up. Um, yeah, re release him. I'm, I'm sorry, Your Highness. He, he snuck in. He didn't sneak in. He works here. Yeah. I work here. See, the guard kind of takes a half step back and flinches. She, Yana just gives a look to Artorius. I'll handle it, dear. He gets up. He kind of says his goodbyes to Chloris and Bartholi and goes aside. And you hear muffled, this is our new court mage. Like, gentlemen, were you not briefed? Like, you should know this. Like, and very in a stern, like, commander's tone. <laughs> um, you see, there are many apologies. Um, 
However, bar and course, unless there's anything you want to do with Yana here, I'm going to move on forward. Uh, let me talk to John real quick because I can <laughs> Yeah. Have, have a request for him. Mm -hmm. <gasps> John! Court mage! That is not surprising to me at all. I know. You are magnificent in your magic. What do you want? Why do you move Cove's wizard me. power? Why? Because I want it closer to Lucia. Just build one. I, I am not good like his. I want his. Oh, wait. If you want... And he looks to his hand where there's ink scribbled in. Any and all requests of arcane nature must be followed in the proper channels. Please send my office a request and we will get back to you within 14 to 20 business days. I'm looking at Queen Yana. <laughs> he takes his position very seriously. All right. We'll put in a Fine. request. No loopholes for anybody. <laughs> I think I'll get a wood, D. We've broken the rules too many times anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Nice rogues. Right. I think you're going to grow into those. I'm already into... What are you insinuating? <laughs> Nothing at all. No, I don't like that. What are you insinuating? I need you to explain it to me in detail. <laughs> in detail. Well, mm -hmm. when I when I put my request in and then my mm -hmm. request is responded to, then I'll be happy you to mean disclose denied? the details. <laughs> I mean, if that's the I choice, have, then I guess the details will be disclosed. Preemptively miss your request. Sorry. Oh, that's crazy. We'll have to put another one in. I give you candy ones. Listen. <laughs> he walks away. <laughs> Damn that kid. <laughs> Every time yep. that kid, man. Fuck. <laughs> Speaking of kids, yeah. could we see your new baby? Yeah, she kind of calls for a aid and they bring uh, the prince over. Still a little, like, infant. I just holding him like this. No, no, no. I can't give you a fake gift, but hey. <laughs> okay. Moving on to Korth. The brisk cold air hits you as you kind of pull your shawl, uh, or shawl tighter towards around you. But the work is done. You finish the memory park, where the construction of your small, fatacular Mary Emporium is still being built. It's set to finish soon, however. Uh, kind of getting a couple of key investors. You do promise them a high return for yield. And... You hope to launch operations within maybe a month. The vineyard is doing quite fine. Uh, explain to us how, what this memory park in Lucia uh, contains. Um, it's a very nice, like, maze, kind of like. So you ha you're forced to walk the path. And when you walk the path, you can see, like, a statues of all the fallen heroes through our journey. The Artificer, Tinker, Furbolg, you can see Aurum, you can see, and at the very, very end, you see a picture, a giant statue of Cove, with like, a memory inscription. Hey, what does the inscription uh, say? My dearest little brother, who fought bravely, who saved Premia. That's all. Okay. And then there's like a boring one to the side. That a little boring one to the side. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> it's the one big and big letters. And then it's their like explanation to worry for the people who after us don't know who he is. Absolutely. Anything else, Cloris, in your first six um, months or as you're around this memory garden? Um, no, I think Cloris is just starting to show. That's it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Kurt. <laughs> yeah. You step through, you kind of take a deep breath. <sighs> Stepping through, you're immediately caught by the dome that surrounds you. 
and you recognize to be the City of Glass here in the Water Plane. You're accompanied by one other individual. What would you like to do? Yeah. Um. So, uh. Oh. Uh, well, I thought. What better place for a vacation? I messed that. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Uh. I think we we go and like do like touristy shit in the like in the plane of water like <laughs> we go and see i'm imagining okay so this is what i'm imagining right uh -huh. you know when you go into an aquarium and there's like the um the like tunnel. the domes yeah there's like yeah. tunnels coming out of the <laughs> main the dome that like yeah you get to walk and there's like oh, yeah. sharks and everything Hell yeah, small little inlays tubes at the very base at the bottom of the floor of glass the bottom of the ocean floor extend outward for those that don't have water breathing capabilities to go deeper into the depths like deep below the marianas trench type shit and see yeah. all the magnificent the animals of the deep the these massive like goldfish creatures that have been undergone Shut gigantification for i being just painted a goldfish floor. these <laughs> massive creatures it's so oh good though God. Bioluminescence on many of the eels and snakes provides the natural light surrounding this tube. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think they, like, they go for a walk and just, like, have a nice time. Um, and I think Kurt's just gonna stop her and just say, um... Mer, um... There was a time in my life where I was... I was in service. I was indebted to people who took me in as a child and I just I had no concept of my own self-worth I was just an implement and it was only with you and the remains but you specifically I was finally able to live my own ambition Mary you're kind selfless and most importantly you care so deeply I'd be honored if you'd do me the pleasure of marrying me. And he pulls out a, a little box with a ring in it. Marcina you... just nods yes. <laughs> you you see the ring, it's um it's very clearly um at one point he got a ring of regeneration. Um it's been like fitted with like a um like a clasp that has a, a big sapphire in it that's been like uh -huh. specially cut so that it looks like a crashing wave. And then there's like diamonds, there's like sea foam. So it's like, <laughs> oh, uh, that's cute as hell. Uh, um, he puts it on her and gives her a big hug. You've always been on my side and you've always like stood with me and for that I'm really thankful. Thank you, Kurt. I'm excited to stand by your side too. Can't get rid of me now. No takesy backsies. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> okay. Moving forward a bit, kind of Kurt and Marzina, we kind of jump ahead in time. Marzina, describe your wedding dress for us. I didn't think about this shit. On the spot, bitch. <laughs> Um, mermaid cut, what else would it be? Come on. You gotta. You got so you know how there's like the I don't remember the whole like something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. What? Yeah. I feel like Marzina would borrow the tiara that she got for Flores this wedding. Blue, something blue, something blue. Something blue. <laughs> <laughs> so she has like a little pearl tiara and like a mermaid cut wedding dress. Um, I feel like she would somehow like drag Sparrow to be there and like he'd probably be the is maid it? of honor. No, he's not the maid of honor. She's gonna try and get him to be anyways. He can wear a suit, it'll be fine. Like he just have to wear a dress, but like bride side. Bride side. Okay. Yeah. The rest of you guys, Bartholdi, Chloris, uh I assume you guys are in the wedding party as well as Yuri. Uh, all standing there, Bart and Chloris, your wedding bands, your wedding happening a couple months prior, kind of solidified 
just past the point of feeling fresh, now feeling like an extension of your body. Um, however, Mazina, you're about to walk forward and kind of your brother does approach in a suit, kind of making his way towards you before you walk down the aisle. You know, he could have at least asked me before he proposed. I'm still kind of upset about that. Kill him on several occasions. He still could have asked. It would have been nice to be asked. I wasn't going to say Did no, he... but it would have been nice to be asked. Didn't you threaten him to break up with me at It would have been point? nice to be asked. That's all I'm saying. Stop your blabbering. Come on. And he extends his elbow. And you realize that he's the one giving you away. <gasps> all right, people are talking. I mean, what? I mean... She'll, like, link her arm with Sparrow, and I think she's, like, tears are welding in her eyes. Welding up her eyes. As, like, the doors open, everyone stands as the song kind of plays through, and Sparrow walks kind of arm in arm with you. As you're walking past Marzina, you see very in the back row standing, hoods over their heads, uh, Zarek and Vaxlum. And kind of as far as walking gets to the point where, Kurt, you are... Take care of her. I will. Kind of puts a hand on your cheek. I'm going to do, like, the annoying thing, and I'm just going to, like, you know when you taste someone, like, the fingers in the side? Just, like, lightly jab at his thighs. Kind of jabs you back. And then kind of steps back and sits where the father would stand. Uh, who's marrying y'all off? I have an idea of mine, but if there's any preference you have. The fire lord. I, ha I have an idea. Ryan, you can shoot me down. I have two ideas. Um, I'm linking on his name, but your boss guy, who's not your boss guy, or Sir Frog. Sir Frog. Absolutely Sir Frog. Sir Frog. Uh huh. Feeling my Speaking mind. of Sir Frog, this happens a bit before, but as you meet with this individual, you don't recognize this man. For it is a man. He approaches you all. Ah, my squires! As you're kind of planning the wedding, your eyebrows shoot up. Like, who the fuck is this guy? You don't recognize me. I recognize the stance and the voice, but... Wonderful, but I have not changed. <laughs> yes, well, it is my honor to marry you off. I will arrive to the venue immediately. I'll be waiting there for you in two months' time. Uh, wait, what, one question. Are, is your name still Sir Frog? This is important. Oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name before you were a frog? He just starts walking off. <laughs> oh, I've, I've done Sir something Man. here. <laughs> I didn't Sir mean Man. to do this. <laughs> but like maybe Frog can life. stand for something. Oh. Fabulous on really good. Favor this song really good. You just said Forg. Forg. <laughs> Listen, my intelligence has went down since the EO's fat. No, you're bad. Shut up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it would have been fine. Oh my god. What? Really? Took, like, I think I mentioned it. It would have took like two, like 20 days of greater restorations from Marzina at ninth level to restore everyone's ability like scores. Like, I did the math. AJ, it would have took like a month from Chloris. I'm back to eight intelligence. Yeah. AJ, I think you mentioned it to like me and Vol and one other person. Oh, my bad. No, not everyone was here. Yeah. I'm still yeah, stupid, but not less stupid. Cool. The wedding oh, goes off without a hitch, and at the end of it, you two are married, officially. Yeah, yeah. Having to go to a honeymoon in a different plane of existence. In a different plane of existence. <laughs> go to the airplane. Oh, here go. We go. oh my god. <laughs> Moving to Yuri. Yuri, you're months from now you're kind of sitting in a large meeting in this massive room um there's the master of arms coin and a fair there the master of arms who which you've known for quite some time valgadinor 
uh, kind of the aide to Zarek has now taken up the Master of Arms station. But the Master of Corn and Affair were, you know to be, some previous uh, Empyrean nobles from the city of Zargos that were actually really good at their station. Like, they had the city's best interest and the Empire's best interest at heart, and that's why they were handpicked for this role. However, as you're meeting, you're going through a bunch of things on the agenda. And the final thing, which has been marked the most prevalent for everyone here, as the Master of Coins speaks, this large dragonborn, very rotund, he definitely was a mercenary, like, in his youth, and now he's, for maybe three decades, hasn't lifted a sword in that long time. We need to talk seriously about how we're going to interact with the rest of the nation now that we have our own sovereignty. We're experiencing pressure from the Council of Garrix, and rumors of border disputes are occurring already. We could find ourselves on the wrong side of a war in the next hundred years between the three nations. Now, we don't have much to pledge in the way of tactical position or military strength, but with the Vitri River flowing through our city and into major waterways, it's abundantly easy for Zargos to trade with any of the nations. I want to bring forth the discussion now. Who do we choose to support financially if we're pulled into conflict? You see there are talks kind of back and forth in which you as well engage in, but eventually you're, you do put forward your position. What is that position and how do you put it forward? Even as a free city, Zargos can continue to be a symbol and a source of stability. We do. On the surface, base neutrality. Um, being able to use connections to ease conflicts. Um, we do not want to see our neighbors start... Uh, going to war with each other just because they now answer to different people and fly different flags. I think acting as fulfilling the role as Zargos has always filled, as a place of stability, a place of diverse peoples and of solving their problems a neutral round you see Valgadinor leans forward as the master of arms we don't have much in the way of a standing military we used to command troops from the other nations to create our Empyrean force but with that gone we've only had volunteers and those who have chosen Zargos as their priority. Mm. We're definitely not what we once were just a year ago. But a neutral, I don't know if policing is the right word, but a force that can act as a white flag. People that are skilled, willing and able to travel, solve problems, work for diverse clients. I think I know you see that um, the master of coin looks at all of the ledgers, this stubby gnomish man. I mean, that's all fine and good now, but what are we even going to call such a thing? I mean, I guess I could allocate some of the treasury funds in order to arm these men, but it would need cloud splitters help in order to Achieve all of the steel and goods, of course. Naturally. You see, Valgadinor goes, Well, it is your idea, Mr. Vasilia. What do you propose we dub this force in its infancy? Hmm. A guild of adventurers centered in Zagos, large enough to draw those from abroad. They follow our rules, they answer to our table. High table. 
a way that we may oversee a famously independent group of people for common good. The guild is good. Now, I've heard rumors that the World Council is going to decentralize the Adventuring Guild in Premia. It's a bill that's still being looked into being passed, but my sources say that it's all but assured. I think and that's a good structure. Why would I need a new home to go to? Membership will be steep. We'll have to vet those individuals to make sure that we don't get any malicious people joining our ranks, but... Master of Coin, if you could set aside a portion of the treasury for us. Mr. Basilia, if you could immediately start acquisitioning items to arm those individuals. I will work with training them and using the military as well, and while we won't have a standing army, we will have a bunch of like-minded peoples that put this city's best interests up top. We all agreed? See, everyone kind of looks around, there are nods, and people agree, they... Everything is very documented. Like, every single word that's being said is written on a scroll, and at the end of every decision, a thumbprint is placed down and signed with your name. It's so important you realize, Yuri, in the months that you've been going to these meetings, where they seek to prevent those demorges of the world. They seek to prevent the Oreoses. They're already taking steps to ensure that that doesn't happen. Making sure that it's very, very difficult for someone to betray the other or the city without it being widespread known and painting them as the enemy. So if you do betray it, it's like, oh, you're the bad guy. There's no, they're making sure they take every effort to be like, everything is on the up and up. Anything else you want to do, Yuri? At this point in time, no. Okay. I will pass it to anybody for the first six months after Zarek and Vaxlam leave on their journey. Before we start bridging the year gap, what does anyone want to do in the immediate? I have one thing. Absolutely. I want to get... I want to ask Bar. Hey, Bar? Yes, darling? Um, could we do something together? In Kaido? In a Corbat? Sure. Uh, Alright, I'm taking us to Corbat. Absolutely. The, Stepping out of this big key. palm tree, you come into the city itself. Where do you go? Uh, we're getting a tattoo. Okay. Of matching tattoos of an hourglass. That's nice. Okay. With sand of them. Okay. As the piece is finished, wherever you place it, your arms still kind of numb from the open wound that's on your skin, that numbing but all too present feeling of a fresh tattoo. You kind of look at it, it still is kind of glistening as they rub this coconut uh, paste mixed with these aloe vera plants to make this natural healing uh, kind of salve to go over the wound. And you look at it and in the sun it shines brilliantly. A permanent reminder. Not that you need it. I just wanted to. Absolutely. Anything else from anyone in the first six months? Um, I think Kurt is going to, um, and I assume during this time he kind of like asked around if anyone knows, um, and I think Yuri probably would have pointed him in this direction. Uh, I think he's going to go and speak to uh, Amatsuchi. Well, I believe, Bartholdi, you also wanted to go to Shilau. Mm -hmm. So I will say, Kurt and Bartholdi, you are able, with the second ship of Cloud Splitter Trading Co., having gotten another one under uh, the ranks, definitely a big penny out of the pockets, you're able to make your way to Shilau, approaching at the massive estate of the Kagehisa Manor. Uh, you're met with aides and attendees, and before long, you do see Hoxley, Kimberly, 
uh, Bertram as well, and uh, Mitsuchi Kagehisa. Um, I think Kurt's going to go up. I, I don't think we've actually had the honor of being formally introduced. Uh, uh, the name's Kurt. <laughs> like, goes uh, I'm Mitsuchi Kagehisa. It's nice to meet you. I've heard much about you, of course. Yeah. Uh, same about you. Um, I was, I was wondering. So, um, Discovery, he wrote a bunch of books that he wants us to uh, get out there. Uh, I suppose. I don't know anything about publishing books. Is that something that you guys have? You guys have a big company, right? Other, you do all that kind of stuff. They look to each other, and at first, there's like a look of like. No, we don't. And then there's a look of like, but we could, but we shouldn't. We could. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> you see, Kagehisa takes the books. Let me get this to an editor I know, and then stay for a bit. I'm sure we have much to catch up on. Um, and yeah. we'll talk in a few weeks' time, if that's all right. Sounds great. Wonderful. Uh, Bart, you're able to pull Hoxley to the side during these couple of weeks that you're waiting. What would you like to do? I think I'll walk up to him. Grab him, like, in that, Oh, like, no! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'll I'm take you in more. the... I'll take you in that same arm lock we had the last time. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to know that what you said to me changed everything about what I did going forward. And now that Discovery's gone, I'm going to keep that promise. I appreciate that. I... I'm, I'm really lost for words, but I... I've had a lot of time to think, and... I do mean it. I mean what I said. I'll give you a hug. You did so much good in this world. You'll have to tell me everything. <laughs> I decided on a name for my restaurant. Discovery's right. Delights. And I think we're going to open a new branch in Zargos. So I'm going to need your help for sure. Do you have some time? For you, yes. Stop by the restaurant when you have some time, or when you get a chance, and I'll tell you about the next steps. That was great, Bartholdi. And coming back to Kurt, Kurt, you're pulled into a meeting with Amitsuchi and a couple of editors. They placed the books out and copied manuscripts, and as they're talking in Draconic, they start the kind of official language of Shilao. They start re-talking back to you. Amitsuchi, I'll, I'll put it lightly. Uh, the editors are concerned. Um, these paint every individual in a very nice light. However, there are a lot of not completely appropriate instances. Um, the troll part, that was something that raised a couple of eyebrows from the editors. Um, also, hanging Oreos is from the bit that probably shouldn't be included either. So there's a pitch. Um, what if we reframe this as a um, a folk tale, so to speak, a of all ages? It'll be true to the source material while cutting out some of the less desirable instances. It'll follow the tradition of novels of ancient heroes and their endeavors. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I, I'm not going to. Oh, let me fix my voice. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how you should do this, but Discovery was very attached to how these books were written. Um, is there any way that we could maybe do both? 
are you willing to do like a, a version that is like a folktale version, but then like these are the like written records or something like that? Is that yeah, something? She translates in Draconic as they don't speak uh, common. And um, I, I start speaking in oh, Draconic because Draconic? I can. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Oh, yeah, the mask. Yeah. <laughs> um, perfect. As you're speaking in Draconic, you you get what you want perfectly uh, conveyed as they kind of talk back and say, well, we're not sure how well it'd sell. I mean, there are books like that. I mean, there's, I mean, the story of, I can't remember his name, the drow and his leopard or tiger friend. I can't remember. Um, it's sold everywhere, but they're not great sellers. How about we can... Of <laughs> Brad's disdain is crazy. <laughs> do not. We can do a small run. My man. We could do a small run of maybe 500 copies, and we can publish them regionally. Here, here's my thoughts. I uh, these these records, not necessarily like. Hey, this is what everybody needs on their shelves. These are these are written records. If you want something that's gonna sell, make your edited version. That's that's nice. Tale of Heroes. The rest of them are like written records. They're uh, I don't know. I guess you guys are publishing. You Maybe see, there's that's like a greedy best. glint in their eyes <laughs> as they realize they're like, oh, so we're gonna do more work for something that's not gonna sell? Give me this. How much you gonna pay us? And kind of without batting an eyelash, he responds back in an exorbitant amount of money. Like, it's like, oh, like, this is probably going to be like, in our world, like, 300000 He's like, $800,000. Stop talking to me. <laughs> they immediately like, get papers. It. They sign it. They sign it. He signs it. Um, Sign over the rights to the book to me. I'll make sure that its honor is given just I appreciate that. It's the least I can do. And Pat will sign it. <laughs> and eventually, in years to come, these books will be the official manuscript uh, kept in libraries in different parts of the world. Anything else from the first six months as I move on to the next couple things? Hi. Yes. Mayor needs to, I don't think she wants to show face at the aisles, but she needs to like write them a letter and just be like, listen. I get you don't like me. You don't need to. This is how Lunara died. I did this to help take down Eos. <laughs> Save my brother. <laughs> um but right, like off, just a very detailed thing like this is everything i saw when i was in the astral plane this is like yeah. what lunara said to me like i know After there's an issue moving, with the blood moon yeah. yeah you do find the time to make your way to the eyes of lunas and you immediately get a cold shoulder given the current state of the moon maiden you yeah. eventually meet with keeper sala who gives you a narrow glare as she asks like cutting through your words like why are you here marzina wants to help like she knows that like there's a blood moon. This is an issue. She doesn't know what the blood moon does, but like this is an issue. Lunara's not here to like stop it. What can she do to help to Keeper Sala gives you a this? pointed look. Nothing. I have conferred with the greatest scholars and clerics of our mistress. They have all but agreed. But for the time being, the Moon Maiden is gone away from our grasp. Glad we're on the same page. Have a good evening. Please just wanted do not to give you. Time. I won't. Just wanted to give you all my information that I had. Have a lovely evening and good word of recall. You just pop out of existence. Hi, right, pull the cove I see. <laughs> like a bridged Goku. <laughs> all right. Anyone else? Okay. Um, just just because oh, yeah. I don't know the time frame, because there was a specific time frame that one of my things needed to be done, is that within the six months, or is it within the year? 
Can you IM me real quick? I believe oh. I know what it is. Yeah. Uh. Just hit me yes or no. Uh, no, no, no. The, okay. the other one. DM me. Um, yeah. Yes, that's afterwards. Is it? That's afterwards. Yep. Cool. cool. If that's the case, we're actually kind of going to move a bit forward. You all meet, make it a point to meet one final time before the events that we, or after the events that we have just described here happen. It was recently after the battle with Eos and after the large scale celebration that have ended this conflict. Within these six months, you all have met together and described what your plans are. And as you all go around, you experience this brief silence as you realize your chosen paths will pull you apart. The merriment of Hurt and Marzina's wedding, Bartholdi and Cloris's wedding. You realize that it will be a while before all of you are together once more. This is your final goodbye to each other for the time being, and maybe the last time in a long time where you all five will be together. Anything you five want to do together. Can I make a position? I think the last place that us five together should be should be at Cope's grave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of meeting in this humid, arid uh, weather. You're standing there. You've made it a point to kind of take some time here, not just meeting, like, blipping in, talking, blipping out. You set up tents. You set up uh, kind of uh, overhangs of cloth to protect yourself from the sun, and it feels like breaking camp, like you've done so many times. You immediately get back into your stations, but you realize that almost silently, each individually at different times, this is the first time you have to break camp in a while without another pair of hands helping you out. What would you all like to do? I just want to say, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what we did. I'll never forget our adventure. I do appreciate every single one of you. There's no way we could have done this alone. You don't know where to find me. You're the ones that are scattering. So. I will charge you full price if you visit, though. No, you won't. Yes, I will. You, wait, you literally, sure? our businesses are linked. What are you talking about? It's you the owe same me like six hundred gold for catering your wedding. That is true. Uh, it's on I the same the book docket. Gifts. Never, oh, never mind. <laughs> we share the same books. It doesn't matter. Never mind. Just never mind. It doesn't. It's a tax. I thought that it, was a tax, right? Yeah. Up, Yuri. I'm, I'm sorry, Yuri. What what happened to the party fund? Wasn't there a party fund? Yeah. No, that's been. I thought the party eight fund months was also ago. the wedding party. Oh, you decided Back to like, months ago. Give me all the impulses of a vulnerability you have. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, man. Calm down. Uh, yeah, that had actually... You misheard me, me. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Let's look. Uh... <laughs> there's enough for one more potion. I, wanna... I assume there's no more money that y'all split no. into the party fund. I just oh, no. <laughs> oh, no? Okay. I, I, yeah, I, that I... shit dried up. Okay. Ages ago. As you guys are talking and enjoying this moment of merriment and laughter in this solemn place, there's a sound from Marzina, your backpack, that frightens you all. It bursts from the backpack. You all immediately turn. Instincts die hard as you pull the weapons out from your uh, various sheets and you see a tiny shrub. <sighs> kind of comes out and in between its branches is a <laughs> scroll. As it kind of moves forward, it drops the scroll and then jumps back in the backpack. The scroll is unbound. It hits the sand and unfurls. And as it unfurls, there's no writing on it. There's a small blip that appears, almost like a hologram of arcane nature. 
Discovered, you may proceed. As you open this scroll, it triggers a whiff of warning. And in oh, front well of you guys, <laughs> thinking, thinking, uh, the warning appears. Um, and something appears in front of you guys. Clearly, those of you, you with special eyes know it's an illusion. As program illusion is cast. And you see sort of kind of becoming sand at the edges. Discovery Doomson. How he looked the day before the fight. Kind of not in full gear, as if like he was gonna go to bed. And he has a scroll on his hand. Kinda sighs and like looks at the scroll. Hello, my friends. If you are reading this, then it seems the final page of my story was written during the Sultan Eos' forces. If that is the case, I hope my name is the only one of the remains that was added to the death toll, and that I at least made it to the final fight before I fell. I know that writing this may be bad luck, but it would be foolish to not account for this outcome. And there are things I would like to say if this page holds the last words I may be able to give you all. First of all, I thank you all for giving me a purpose. Before the remains and the troubled troop, I didn't really have a plan beyond finding the little family I may have left. And then I found you all. People that started a journey that reminded me of the stories that inspired me to learn magic. Botholi. A man with no memory of who he was, yet no one was more sure of their actions to show who, who they were in their soul. A guardian. I am proud to say I stood beside you. You were there at the start and at the end of this grand adventure. In our darkest moments, you held your hand down to pull us back to our feet. While I know much of your memory may never truly return to you, I hope the ones we made with you will fill that space. You were there for me when I was at my lowest. For that, you saved me from what I could have become. Thank you, brother. Do me one final request, Balfoldi. Live a bit more for yourself. You can truly say you protected everyone. Enjoy the world you saved. Uh, right. Flores. A fae looking for a way home. I found a new one along the way. Despite whatever happened, despite whatever was happening, you always could put a smile on those around you. Doing it in a way that was more than just simply giving them a laugh. They say that spring is a time of change and new life, a time of joy and love. Thank you for bringing our spring clothes. Thank you for reminding me that fun is thank you for reminding me what fun is, even if it seemed like I didn't always appreciate it. If I had to ask anything of you, a final favor of my favorite Fay, I may be so bold. Never change. Marzina. A lost soul looking for a guiding light. Whether it be faith or family, only to become that light yourself. It reminded everyone you touched what family felt like, even when we all searched for it. Be that a daughter, a significant other, or a sister. No one smiled wider, or cried harder for others more than you, Marzina. They say a lunar light is a symbol of a comforting beacon 
in the darkness. If that's true, then you put Lunar to shame. If it's not too much trouble, could you watch over the shrubs for me? The desert rose is named Jernald, and the little cactus is named Quillen. I need someone to make sure you don't get into trouble when I'm not there. Mare is like already taking a section of her hair and putting it in the pot. Good. A hunter chained to a lie. Good champion, as free as a roaring flame. And we would all overthink or doubt or hesitate. You'd always, you would always be the first to step forward and remind us of the courage needed to give everything we have with only five words. What are we here for? Danger was never something that slowed you down, and you help us learn how that sometimes the simplest solutions are the correct ones. Thank you for following my brother's last wish to watch over me. Consider it filled. Now for my wish from you. Remain unchained, Kurt. I hope that wherever I'm going, I will hear about the exploits of the Fire Lord's champion, the burning blade of the remains. Yuri. I betrayed conflict on a mission. To a loyal hero with purpose. We know how you see yourself. You never tried to hide it. I wish to tell you a message of great importance. But I fear that my way of words won't be enough, so I will see them in yours. Stop denying what you are. You're not some sad sack of shit that the only that is only here to do the dirty work. You're not just a tool we fished out of the sea. Every chance you could prove that you are that brooding loader you pretend to be, you showed us that there is no soul more loyal and driven than yours. You're a hero, damn it. And it's time you stop pretending you aren't one. You told me to be true to myself. Maybe it's time you take your own advice. Well. I hope you all know I didn't want you all crying over me. Don't focus on the love. Focus on the memories we made along the way. That with the stories of us that... Uh, that combined with the stories of us that will surely live on. I can say I didn't die in that way. I have achieved every wizard's dream. I'm immortal. In the only way it matters. Our life filled with mistakes, regrets, and grief. Because of you all, I can say that if I meet my end tomorrow or in about 20 years, I wouldn't change a thing. With that, the story of Discovery remains in the Ends its final chapter. So my friends, did you enjoy my story? I certainly did. And with that, the, the image of him begins to slowly fade away. And uh, the words begin to appear on the page in written form. And at the very end, it mentions that there is a gift for each of you with Ko's belongings. A way that whenever you time something, you can remember him. Yuri, upon reading the those words, you look through your bags. You're kind of being the one who's held Discovery things since the final battle. And you pull out a couple of unique items. Like, why the fuck? What is this component? What the... And then you find a perfectly sealed ornate package, a parcel, and as you open it, Discovery, please describe what's inside. For Yuri, you see this kind of dark, gritty steel, uh, some of it like made of wood to give it like a ship feel, an hourglass um, from uh, that has the sands of the Shadowfell. Clearly, with you in mind. Uh, Next, you uh, you find another hourglass, one of of bronze and uh, almost burnt steel, iron, uh, with the black obsidian sands of fire plane. You find one s silvered and with crescents, uh, hourglass of dark blue and light uh, 
like yellowish sands of the water plane. One almost entirely made of wood, except for the glass of the hourglass. Wood that you don't recognize until you get that familiar vibe and the magics that can only be found in the bay. Stands from that little island where the war tree was. And one final hourglass. It looks the oldest, simple. Like, wasn't fully proficient in setting it together when it was made. Sands from Corvad. One that can only belong to the oldest of the party. I think you all know which one goes to who. As you guys well, instinct, yours isn't very special now. at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a low effort. Like, you could have at least yeah. given not like, not very choice. customized. Yeah. Oh, he sees it. It's very generic. <laughs> but only if you look on the bottom of it, you can see there is like a date of like made this, and you can see that Cove made this when he was much younger. Like, this is probably the first thing like he made by himself as like a start for his journey I think he's calling you old yeah no. yeah that's that's what I'm getting from this old oh, man fuck you guys I think he just like <laughs> he I think he for just the tucks... oldest of the part okay no it's fine I think he just tucks it away and just says nah this one's just got a different kind of magic that's all something only I'd understand <laughs> Okay. With the yeah. gravestones in sight, is there anything you all want to do before you say goodbye to each other for a while? I'm gonna go. go... Ways? I'm gonna talk to Mir first, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Mir? Chorus. You better be there at the baptism. I need your blessings. Baptism? Emma, Emma. Is there a Jesus what? Christ has risen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lunar, like, Lunara. 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 You know, baptize your child in the light of the Morris, I didn't Lunara. know that you were subscribed to the Fae. I'm not. But I feel like I feel like I should. Like I from mean, you are. Only if it's blessed by I you. I highly recommend it, but also like you're not gonna get much from like a uh, eternally sleeping goddess. But yeah, if you want uh, me to baptize a child, don't know what help it's gonna give, but sure. Uh you know what? Let's table I you know, whatever. Just be safe. I'll be safe. If you want together we can look into other gods to maybe like there's some really good um religious education schools from other gods. I am <laughs> reconsidering this as we speak, but Mir, Mir, you better stay alive and take care of Kurt. She'll like hold up him. a wedding ring that's a ring of ring of regeneration. Yeah. I'll be fine. I don't have to heal myself anymore. So this is great. Yeah. That that's good. But heal him. I, I, I assume I, so. Every every day he he spilled a cup. Like a pot of coffee on himself. I had to heal the birds. Like, I'm just You're immune to fire. <laughs> shh, shh. It's liquid fire. How do you think it works? Oh, because you made it. So it's like holy fire. Okay, I got, I got it. Sorry, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm healing like every other injury course. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm used to it. Just don't be a stranger. Also, oh, well, you have sending. Send me sendings. I don't have sending, but I will send you an animal. Somehow. Just get some scrolls. You you have your theme park. You'll make money. You'll be fine. My theme park? No, no, no. It's an empire. Park. Oh, sorry. Empire. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I built a exactly. memory lane for the commoners, and then I made profit with my emporium. Have you tried guilt tripping the customers about being like the hero that saved the world? I think you can get a nice profit from that. 
I think Yuri is gonna help me in that apartment. You'll be fine. <laughs> I will get Yuri to help me in this. <laughs> My guilt for being Yuri. You can oh fucking God. try. <laughs> Anyone else? Well, A-Ring's a really cool goddess. You should very strong. You should look into that. You think, you think you can guilt trip Yuri to do fucking anything? You got another thing coming. Anyone I'm not saying guilt trip Yuri. Um, I'm saying guilt trip the customers. Oh, well, customers. I, thought I was also need to talk to Marzina, actually. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Will you walk with me? She links arms of him. Where are we walking to? Just out of eyesight from everybody else for a minute. <laughs> I don't know what to say, kid. You're well on your way, aren't you? She gives you a big I... hug. I wouldn't be here without you. If I do even half as much work to get that one to be half as good as you are, I'll have succeeded. You're going to be a great dad, Barfaldi. You already had practice on me. You don't have to worry. Yeah, in some ways you'll always be my first child, huh? Yeah. Just stay safe. And... I will. You, can, you and Kurt can always come home. You know what I mean? You will see me for brunch. I don't know when, but at some point unannounced, we will stop off for brunch. That'll be and perfect. Barfaldi, to exist with you has been the greatest honor of my life. <laughs> Appreciate it. Also, will you cast regeneration on me? Again, this is... It's not a good look. What happened to Barfaldi? What's not a good look? What's wrong with him? My, his the eye. eye ripped his eye out. Big. God, oh, and you have stolen three fingers. fingers. Oh my That's god. Hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why didn't you ask me before the wedding? Oh my god, the wedding portraits. And she's just like taking the minute to cast regeneration and just like not looking worth all the time. So sorry, course is gonna kill me. We can hire a painter to cover up the eye. There's a fine. visceral fine. pop. As the eye of truth leaves the socket and hits the ground on the sand. <sighs> Oof, that's much better. Like... <laughs> water, just water pouches it, dries it off. I know it's kind of weird and gross, but just take this with you, right? I don't need it anymore. It's the only eye I can offer you these days. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Marzina, add the Eye of Truth to your inventory and a Ring of Regeneration, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> Low-key, guys, how do you guys think Merid look like with emerald eyes? Or at least an emerald eye? All right. Anyone else? I want to talk to you, Ring. Absolutely. I'm not going to ask you to invest. Don't worry. You I saw the eye. I saw the you eye. Couldn't, you couldn't get me to. I know. Absolutely not. But I want to talk to your first a second. Hey. Mm. If it ever gets too much, you know, you could always... ...come to us with your problems. I figured that. Like, don't be a stranger. People keep on acting like I'm gonna disappear. Everyone knows where I am. I'm not the one leaving. I'm I'm worried about you being the most. I have an address. I have a post box. I've been there for months already. How do you feel about that? Company makes regular deliveries to our restaurant. Literally. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Also, me and I think Bar is setting shop in Zargos. Yeah. Do you know that? I believe we... Didn't you talk about it? I think you did. I did. But I'm not there, so... So, I... I don't know. But just don't be a stranger. And... Also, we have to bother Cyrix, 
sometime. We need to have another night out. I've Some seen Zarek plenty. What do you mean? He never shows up at my theme park! <laughs> because it's a theme park, and it's Zarek. He comes by the captain's quarters, like, once a month. Really? Yeah. And you guys didn't invite me? Like, just because I'm gonna be a mom to be, you, that's rude. You know, I can still have fun. It's so fun. I'm plenty of fun. I can play so many tricks on people. That's not fun! <laughs> that is so much fun. It's pretty fun. Okay, babe. Come on, you laughed at one time. It's one. But okay. That one time. Be specific, please. That one time with that, the trolls. With that one time with the. Tr Were you there for the trolls? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was yeah. there for the trolls. See, see? When they used when they used Cove spellbook as a. Not a bible that doesn't exist here. Uh, you know what I mean. Shattered <laughs> <laughs> the fourth wall. Oh, that's right. Just say that. Don't be a stranger. Love you! And Ursus hit him and just do her mistake. Okay. Anyone else? Before we split <laughs> apart, continue things. Marzina. Go on up to Yuri. Please don't fire my brother. He's... He doesn't I feel... work there. He turned in his two weeks. What? Months ago. What? Which is honestly, I'm yeah. proud yeah. of him. For he he didn't in show up. Weeks. He didn't show up for like. I was gonna tell work. you, I feel. And then I'm... he sent me a two weeks. I think it was just like, I already quit, but fuck you. So. Oh my god! I was literally just about to tell you he's not gonna show up for work on time. He might not he show up. He did at leave the scarf behind that I gave him though, so that was that was. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, there's that. Good luck with your empire. If you need help to, like, move things into the place, you can always hit up Kurt, and now we can just, like, do a little advertisement for you, do a little mention, you know? I don't think I want you saying anything about anything about me on different planes. Thank you, but no. <laughs> Uh -uh. I'll make sure if I... I see cute, a cute lady, I could just leave her your address, maybe. Don't do that. The last time a woman from a different plane got involved with me, it killed a lot of people. <sighs> just, so don't do that. Okay. I want, I want updates. Okay, we're good. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. One last, One last thing. thing. One yes. last thing. Oh, as like they're leaving, Marzina's like, fuck, Chloris, what's the name of the baby? Clover, we're the first one. There's twins. Or if we're the second one. Thank God it's not triplets. I don't know what I'd do. Or the third one. <laughs> like, holy fuck, no. Well, no. there's four clovers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that would suck for you. And Clove just fixes the fourth wall that Yuri broke. <laughs> That's his job. <laughs> This job. <laughs> All right. Hard to leave. I got jobs oh, now. with your yes. Go ahead, Bartholdi. What's what's Yuri's title right now? Like in the city? Like what's Yuri your... doesn't really have a title. He wasn't really given one. He was just kind of like you're just he's... like at the table. Like yeah, I'm he's the kind of the representative for the Cloud Splitter Trading Company. Gotcha. So he's quote unquote like guild master, um, like quote unquote of the cloud splitter trading. Bartender, company. trader, financier, 
Right. Mentor. I'm not, I'm not Tony Stark. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen. Okay, he saved the world. He is a visionary. He is a revolutionary. No, we won't stop him. Billionaire <laughs> it, philanthropist. Oh my god. I'm walk up to you real fast and just say, no, it's it's not a joke. I'm actually going to open another restaurant. I'll be by Guild Master. I guess that title fits for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna. You better believe it. Not always. I'm just playing. It's not even like that. It's no, it it's isn't. Not a guild master. I'm just playing, or... Yuri. It's a joke. <laughs> One day, you know. Anyways, is there anywhere in town that I could buy for another restaurant? There are some assholes in the brewery down the street from Captain's Quarter that are making my life a pain. I do. might be easier to have a, you know an outlet for those adventures you're probably going to be sponsoring in the future to go through hmm. more of uh just pointing in directions i just want to just feed because everybody. i'm staying in one place doesn't mean that i want to be I agree in some ways, but I'm going to have to stay in one place for quite some time, it looks like. I just want to be able to come see you pretty often, you know? Like I said, I'm not moving around. <laughs> moving yeah, in touch. Same, same city. Same city. Same city. You know, come by Lucia sometime. Ignore the theme park if you want to. It's not that bad, but you know. Well, I don't you know. have uh, I don't have like a sword that can split reality or anything that like is... that. So, interestingly uh, enough, you, so neither do I'm I. Gonna... What's wrong with you? I'm done with that. I think for now. I don't. <sighs> if I'm needed, I'll do it, but. For me to visit anyone, it's going to be about an eight-month journey by by a boat. So, about the same, unfortunately. Well, actually, no. Boris will probably take us anywhere we want to go in a few seconds. So, yeah, we'll be in touch. And okay. then we'll talk to Kurt, and we're done for that. For it. sure. That for sure. Go ahead, Bart. You can't kill that adventurous spirit, huh? Rion. What? Sorry, sorry. I I completely. Hi. Hey, I'm talking to Kurt. Hi. <laughs> I was just like, you get. Never mind, Ryan. Forget it, dude. <laughs> I I like, I'm, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I was no. fucking going. No, it's and... okay. Um, what did you say? No, he's like, I guess you can't kill your adventurous spirit. I suppose not. <laughs> well, all I can do is wish you well, and, you know, I don't know where you'll be going, I don't know what the food will be like, but I know where the food will be good when you come back, so... I'll definitely be... Look, I... I'd, I may have vetoed a little bit us coming back to do, like, pet meetups, but I absolutely will be coming back to get food, so... Fair. You can count on that. Fair, actually, on both accounts, maybe. Might be a little frivolous in the circumstances to do the pet meetups. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you, though. To you as well. I'll be here. We 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 have we have means. That's the nice thing is that even though you know we will only have so much time for each other in the future, most of us can see each other pretty easily. And thanks to Yuri not going anywhere, I guess for now, he's still pretty easy to find. We always know where we can meet up.
That's all I got, man. Okay. I think he but... like he's he's gonna like give Buffoldi the you know like the warrior handshake yeah. the like yeah. hero's handshake absolutely yeah, yeah. Right, for sure. <laughs> A year passes from this moment. Bartholdi and Cloris, you are in high spirits as your various businesses have taken off, and Yuri, you even attend the opening, much to the chagrin of Bartholdi and Cloris of Discovery's delights, opening up maybe four blocks away from the captain's quarters. Bartholdi and Cloris, you kind of stay within your means, never trying to get on that level of Amatsuchi Kagehisa or Hoxley and kind of that estate, but you live quite well. And when all the work is done, you get into that monotony that is that comfortable monotony of family life. Kurt and Marzina, yes, Cloris. I want to add thing. Cloris yeah. is always... She's already pouring the kids to be wizards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like getting Why? them like tiny robes and hats Absolutely. and Lobby's Academy merch. <laughs> <laughs> like a college <laughs> merch when the kid is born. Absolutely. Yes! <laughs> and honestly, right. one of the kids does take to it pretty pretty handily, while the other kid favors uh their father in terms of uh not just combat, but worksmanship. You know, they're very good with their hands. You often find them uh, scribbling away and diddling away uh, in the years that would pass. But in this first year since our meeting in Korobad, being a business owner, being a partner is one thing, but you both realize that being a parent is another journey altogether. And you undertake that one right after this one closes. Kurt and Marzina, you spend much time together. Uh, in the year that happens, there is a couple of significant moments. Kurt, you... Actually, let me go back to Chloris real quick. In this year, Chloris, you are visited. And whether Bartholdi uh, uh, attends you or not, you are taken one final time to the Feywild. Going to the Summer Court, you all meet with the King Malwaf, uh one last time. He explains to you, as you're now quite showing, uh, explains to you that his part of the deal is up. All of the Primzies are heading back to their various homes as he's housed them here. Many of the refugees from um, Xerix or Zarix. Um, and he just kind of looks to you, Cloris. I suppose congratulations are in order. Thank you. This I... realm will be locked off with prudency, but I have no doubt that in times to come, small entryways will make their way in unnatural places. Do your best to keep people away from them. I will take such a task. Could... I do... Could you hold something for me? You won't be getting it back. If you're okay with that. I would just want to hold like a photo, like one of the portraits, like Cloris's first portraits of Cove. Like, I want to keep it in the field. Well. Okay. Oh, and um, my scepter, if you'd be so kind. Oh, oh, I am. Thought I, I forgot. Was sorry, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I thought you forgot. Yeah. I. It didn't belong to me, anyways. That's a hope thing. But she uses it well. I did. But the staff suits me better. May your short life bring you everlasting love. Goodbye. Thank you. Can I see. No, oh, it's fine. I just want to do a quick thing. I want to go and see the River King. I promised him. I, I really promised him sure? to come once a year. Say goodbye to the Faborian. Well. For sure. Yes. I can arrange one final meeting. But as far as concurrent visits... I know, but... At least I've held my bargain. Yes. 
As you guys are leaving, you see, you hear stomping feet. Are you not coming back? Back, I know. Did I do something wrong? No. Oh. Do you want to work in my amusement park? No. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> okay. I will miss you. I give him a big hug. Why? It's like the thumb and index fingers squeeze you tightly. Why? Hey, you make your way to the River King. Eventually, you get an audience. He goes, What? What do you want? I promised I would see you. Did I'm you? here. Yeah. I don't remember. You probably don't. Right. But, uh, you know, it's the only last time you'll see me because uh, the king is shutting uh, me out. And uh, my heart yeah, it breaks, quivers right? at the thought. I know. I, I, you know, I just want to see you one last time. That's, that's why. Fine. I, I give you him a hug. Me. Can I give you, you a hug? Go to give him a hug. No. How are you gonna get? Where's your the other back? one? The one you he like? To all of his other daughters. I don't know. I have a hard time feeding all of these ones as it is. Ah, uh, okay. She's doing good. Yes, yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. I pick some flowers with me at the end. Okay. Like, like, Absolutely. I'm a, I'm last time. Okay. Go into Kurt and Marzina. You spend much time together, kind of. Where do you set up home? Where is home for Kurt and Marzina? Question. We got Cloris and Bartholdi and Lucia. We got, and also Zargos as kind of a second place. We got Yuri, kind of primarily in Zargos. Where are you two at? I feel like we're traveling a lot, and Ryan, feel free to shoot me down, but I feel like we'd be in Vergaria now. That's the, what the I was going to say. Life. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we 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 got that van life. Uh, oh, but yeah. no, yeah. You're that Infragaria. annoying ass well, Instagram couple that lives in a. So this is our refurbished time, school bus. You spend much time in school down, kind of helping rebuild uh, the Church of Lunara. Uh, but eventually, Kurt, you do insist on going to Zargos uh, for a particular reason. You meet up with the one man you know who has discoveries, individuals always kept. Yuri, it's a unique day. You weren't really expecting it, but nonetheless, it is a sight for sore eyes as the lunch rush dies down and in through the captain's quarters walk Kurt and Marzina. Kurt, you can proceed. Wait. <laughs> uh, the one thing you DM'd me about. Tune in, bro. Uh -huh. No, no, no. I, I just <laughs> two times. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember what exactly we need to you gotta do. Gotta get it though. You gotta get it though. Okay. You gotta get so, it from Yuri. Yuri has it. Okay, that's I what I wasn't stuff. putting together. <laughs> yeah, Cove had instructions right. on exactly what. Mm -hmm. we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yuri, um, I don't know if you remember this, but Discovery was supposed to destroy his wand, and he's kind of not around to do it. Uh, do you have the wand? Wait, um, why does, uh, why does the wand have to be destroyed? That is such a good question. Uh, he, he, it was a condition of him having the wand. What the greater cosmic significance? I don't know. I'm the magic's. I'm not up with the magic, but it was a condition of him getting the wand, so we gotta destroy it. Do you want to keep it? You sound like you want to keep it. Fuck no! It is ugly. It doesn't match. <laughs> it's... 
No, it's a pain. The, the decor in I, here is right People now. have tried to steal it three oh, times. Yeah. Wait, do you oh, have oh, it on display? Okay. Where does where does he have it? Does he have it on display? Like, what's the... No. Uh, so Yuri will take you up to the second floor where they have, like, private booths and meetings and stuff like that. Um, and then he'll take you up to a third floor, which is, like, private offices and stuff. Um, and then in his office, there's, like, a large... Not, it's not an armoire. It's one of just, a, like, just a glass-paned uh, shelving unit. And um, it's very large. This place is massive. Why have you never taken me here? You don't try and steal it if it's so locked up. Um, because it's a relic of... Oh, why do you have it so locked up? Like, I feel like of course you're going to want to steal it if it's so locked up. If you just had it, like, sitting in a dusty corner, like, no one's going to want to touch it. it Happy really route to cope, happened. though, but, like, you know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and he'll use, um, his... Um, I think he's got like arcane lock put on there and he's got all kinds of just defenses sure and he'll he'll unlock it and he'll and he there's a couple of things he's got um, his three daggers um, well there are three like dagger like holders um, where you can kind of like set them on display one of them is not in its place so there's only two of them there um, and then he's got a Nimbus coronet, platinum scarf, just kind of like the relics, essentially. Um, it's his trophy case. Um, and he'll take out the gnarled ass piece of driftwood. Um, what can I just, what you try I... to snap it and it doesn't snap like you hang on. And it does not snap. Luckily, Discovery has this. given us detailed instructions. I haven't read them yet, but there are detailed instructions here. <laughs> okay. A quest break a wand. How about that? I, I, you don't want to come. If you can get my fucking schedule cleared go for it you can't clear your own schedule does yuri have like a i don't think you understand he's desk. got some eye bags <laughs> i'm just gonna like cast greater restoration on yuri it does nothing but he'll feel a little better i mean it removes the level of exhaustion <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's got like three right now <laughs> they're there I, um, I have things that I need to tend to here. We're kind of hunting down crime lords in the city. Oh. Seems, and, uh, seems important. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. I'm sure it'll go fine. Discovery was normally the one who knew what to do about magic stuff. I was like, oh, I'll ask. Is that really whoever's... true, though? I mean, kind of okay. on that note, Who Kirby, else? Like, matter of fact, <laughs> you look at all the notes, and it's a piece of like cardstock that unfolds, and then unfolds uh -huh. again, and then unfolds uh -huh. one more time, and it's like, oh, 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 oh no, okay, um, slight problem. <laughs> we gotta get the game back together for a second. Oh no. <laughs> Is that oh, my boy. one child in the screw to <laughs> Uh, yeah, Yuri, this is the whole thing. <laughs> Don't do this. You might need to clear your schedule for a day, but maybe like a week. Don't do this. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that it, it had to happen. Eventually, you all come stumbling back into the captain's quarters after an undisclosed amount of time. It's <laughs> late at night, maybe 2 a.m. You five walk back in, now all together once again. Cut, bloodied, and bruised, but the wand finally destroyed. As you all take a seat, just... <sighs> <sighs> We're never going plane hopping again. Thank you. The insert plane here was okay, though. 
<laughs> oh, go to multiple ancient, planes. If we go to some ancient temple and go to like the at the equinox or something, like it was a whole thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. After a and roundabout day, to the four elemental planes, uh, which has a time limit in order to destroy the wand, you all eventually make it back to the material plane after this adventure to destroy the wand. You all hear tired out of your minds, but the wand is destroyed. Yuri, I, I can't know. believe you lost a leg. You do rock a peg no, leg. No, we're not <laughs> doing that bit. We're not. No. Why did you refuse the regeneration spell? No. <laughs> It's a good look. Her, Kurt Marzina. A Very parody of you. Uh, one day, not. as Kurt and Marzina, you guys are in Skulldown after this escapade. Um, you, Marzina, get a visitor. And whatever house or wherever you're staying, uh, you do meet with Sfaro. You kind of have him over for dinner. He meets. And then after, like, in a lull, he's sitting down. He's nursing a cup. His shoulders hunched forward. Uh, Did you knock really someone nice. else? No. Thank God, okay. Listen, I'm gonna... I'm saying see you later. I gotta go for a bit. I uh, gotta okay. go back to the order. I gotta face justice for what I did and uh, set things right. Okay, I understand. Um, do, do you need help? I'm all right. Actually, a quick punch in your jaw cuts some of the skin. You fall out of the chair into the ground. You're like, yo, what the fuck? He goes, hey, 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 stop. Hang on, look, I want to show you something. I had to hurt you for it to work. And he casts Cure Wounds at first level. I, uh... Did you do that? So proud of you. Look after an annoying bitch I know. Wow, she sounds really fun and cool she and really, really just annoying, amazing. Really like short and annoying. You should you should listen to her more often, I think. I really shouldn't, you know. Yeah, I it's know. really she crazy be how yapping. short she because It's crazy how she's you. always yapping. Well, she's not when I have my boots on, so but yeah. Can I try and like kick to, like his knee in so like he falls down he's a level 19 monk can you i go try for aj he... mm. go ahead try it in now i will see no, you mm. oh you done i'm never done you know that all right he gives you a tight hug looks to you kurt still would have been nice to be asked Ignore him, ignore that. him, it's fine, it's fine. He would, just ignore him. <laughs> kind of side-eyes you as he walks back and takes his leave. I'll uh, see you again. Kind of jumping back to Zargos, Kurt, you're called for a meeting uh, with a couple of familiar faces. Cadmus, having met you here, having stayed in the Material Plane for a while after the events of the battle with the Eternal... He lays out the plan for you, essentially. You're going aboard a singular spell jammer. He will be captaining it alongside the surviving elemental walkers. And then from there, if things go good and go good and good, good, go good, then you'll essentially be given a ship of your own. It says that he's probably moving out in maybe a year. It takes a while to, one, get to the astral plane and establish a connection consecu like consistently, as well as send a ship there and affix it with a spell jammer. So it is taking a while, but Cadmus does lay out those steps for you. Is there anything you want to say to him? Um, I, I think just it'll it'll be an honor to work with you, Captain. I like that. Oh, you jumping might. forward, Kurt, you are in the Remains building in the Keep in Ormond. You've been told that there is a item of significant power that hasn't really been utilized in a while there. As the shards of the scrying mirror come together, you look through it for individuals. You see two 
familiar is the wrong word, but you know that you know them. They're scrubbing on their hands and feet this gnarled scape. There looks to be gelatinous and chitinous tissue surrounding the walls around them. As they're scrubbing, they're in quiet, toned down rags, a collar around their neck and bangles around their wrist and ankles. As they're kind of scrubbing, you see come into play in this scrying a figure tall and lithe, tentacles coming out of their chin. It speaks in this garbled tongue as they kind of stiffen and they continue to scrub as this mind flayer leaves the space. That just leaves me with far more questions than <laughs> that I expected. Re reporting that to Cadmus, he gives you kind of the rundown, not him specifically, but gets some information in the gear that this is being built. Uh, they've come to the conclusion that it is a Nautiloid that those people were aboard. Thankfully, that's where you're heading up to. How they got there and why? You're not sure. You're left with more questions than answers. But at least they're alive. Yuri. One night, after filling out a shift at the Three Daggers, it's very late. No one, no patrons are coming in here. Just the regular faces of people that you've accrued in your employ up until this point. However, one of the younger people who you've been working with comes in carried by two other people of their party, a big wound above their knee. They're placed onto the table and having some clerics, having some healers, they're able to pull the wound out from above the knee and it's a bullet. A single bullet, and as you look at it, it's inscribed, See you soon. You're finishing up at the captain's quarters a few months later. As you're kind of left to close up by yourself this evening, kind of just the way you scheduled everyone out, kind of showing that you are a... Uh, a boss that pulls their own weight. You're setting up the chairs as the doors open. You immediately respond with the, hey, we're closed, sorry, but you see a cre person that you've seen before, but the name eludes you. This older man, long hair that's tied back in what looks to be this long tricorn hat on his head, two pistols affixed on his sides and one on his chest, a long duster cloak covering his clothing. So, you're the one who got Granny Scales Molten, huh? Apologize about the roughing I gave to one of your boys, but the kid was mouthing off and uh, overplayed his hand to speak. But I didn't come here for apologies. Came here for business. Uh, can you try that again without the accent? Because that was a lot. I'm here for business. Mm -hmm. Better? Like I said, we're closed. Well, this is the type of business that doesn't really happen when this spot's open, so... Fred, I got no options left to meet with you. Hmm. Well, we don't really do business after hours. But I can suggest a different venue if you are inclined. No, I think I found the right place and the right man. See, I've been recently eyeing that you're on a collision course of sorts. And I don't know if you even know it. Right, well, listen. Seems like if you don't uh, 
show some tact, you're going to be meeting with uh, Mistress Ibalba quite soon. And honestly, you're outgunned. The lady has had decades to do what you're trying to do right now, and uh, you'll lose that fight. Can't you just stay on her side of the ocean? That's the unfortunate part. There's no sides of the ocean for her, really. Nice and boring. <sighs> so what do you want? I'm glad you asked, because, you see... I think you're a man of opportunity. And I consider myself that as well. Now, my crew and I have recently decided to make our way to this neck of the world. And imagine my surprise when I find someone like yourself. Someone who's stepping on the tail of the one who pays me. Kind of tired of uh, breaking skulls. And you, my good friend. Well... Let's just say that the trajectory of your growth is going to be stopped pretty soon without my crew and I's help. You sound mighty confident. It's because I know what I'm capable of and I know what I bring to the table. Now, you really got two options here. You join up with us and we join up with you. My crew and I, so to speak. Not, uh, the old lady. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Because whether you like to admit it or not, eventually you are going to cross heads with that old lady. And I fancy myself a betting man. I like to bet on the side that I think is going to be the winning one. But... Should I still be on that other side? I don't think you will be. Who's your name? Eric. Captain of Dostyager. Well, Jaeger. Dostyager. Make no mistake, you will continue to stomp heads. I'd be a bit undelighted if I stopped it all together, but at least stomp on the right heads. We might be able to have a conversation. I'll be in town for a couple of days. You can find me at the Silver Branch. No. No? I'd be here. Hmm. And make no mistake. I'm not like Miss Ebalba. I do things myself. Right. Well, the problem with that is what happens when you're gone? And I'll just give him a smile, like, and who's going to make that happen? <laughs> well, if you consider yourself immortal, then by all means, you're just as big a fool as she is. See, if you don't have plans for what happens when you eventually pass, well, everything that you have will go with you. Not immortal. But I'll be old in a bed before I have to worry about it. And I just want to have, like, that full level 20 swagger. Mm-hmm. Um, it was all right. That's I'll be talking to you, then. What is your decision? Do you bring Dost Jaeger into your fold and work with them as even partners? Or do you leave them to work with Ibalba and potentially go on a collision course with them? I, I will say you're will... acutely aware that some of the like bosses that you've been displacing definitely pay tithe to Ibalba and are there because of her. Yeah. I will 
I think I'll decide to work with them. But he, I think it will, over time, it'll be a show of whether it's just keeping him to himself of like, these are not friends. They're contractors. For they sure. Jump ship as soon as they can. For sure. And the, the same energy is kind of responded to you. It's like, Hey, I kind of need like, shit. I can't get the gang quick. I need some heavy hitters real quick. Carrick. I hate to ask you. I need this. How much money you got? Like, it's never like a, yeah, I'll do this out the goodness. It's always attached from a business perspective. Okay. Kind of bringing it up and wrapping up the first, like, year or, like, year and a half, two years max. Is there anything else anyone wants to do here? Yes, of course. I want to talk to Tarathiel. Yeah. Absolutely. Fine. I'll say do we I jump back. You find him back mm. in Zargos way earlier. Yeah, yeah kind okay, of, cool. Because his contract is done with the mm. Empire. He just mm. contributed to the uh, yeah. engine that sent the Omega Amulet away. Mm. You find him packing up the old office that was Artigan Discoveries. Uh, I hope you're not here asking for a wish because I'm not giving it to you. No, I'm... That was... The post-reaction I've had some time to calm down. Yes, yeah, so what do you... What do you need? With Artigan gone, and Cove being... gone, I... Lafayette's Academy knew, need a new headmaster. That's not a position I can take. That would dis well, besmirch everything that the previous Archmage stood for. But what are your plans? I'm gonna go back up north. To Lucia? No. North of Garrix, I guess now. I made a small cabin when your redskin friend found me. I'm gonna go back there. I'm just live out my days. That's not way to live. It's a good way to live. Tending to the land and yielding crops in a difficult environment. You know, that Everything you eat, sound... you grew yourself. It's... I like that. It's more than I deserve. And I'm happy. It's what I want. What you want, but... You're part of the reason why you succeeded. Thank you. Um... Not for saying that, but for caring. I do care. But, uh... I will come and find you once in a while. If you'd like. I'll be there. Alright. Take care. I will pat him, pat him back. He takes a small sack of his things and he walks out. I give him a winter shawl. <laughs> like... Okay, absolutely. <laughs> Covering some of his tattoos that houses arcane magic. Anyone else? I have a question. Okay. Yeah. So Cove is like part of the weave. Is that kind of thing of like... You don't have sentience. Become, I can't become part of the universe. Okay. You're yeah, you don't have... Yeah, like you're like part of the force, but no force ghost. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Worth okay. the asking. For sure. Well, if there's nothing after a year, we are going to kind of catch up with our remains in, their, in the years and decades to come. Kurt and Marzina. Yo. Over the years, you wake up stiff in this shared bed wood walls and a wooden floor around you. There's a knock at your door. Oi, Captain! We're ready to dock and brawl. We're gonna offload some cargo. We'll be here for a bit. Is that all right? Sounds good. Right. All right now. As you guys head out of your room on this ship, 
is you see the massive asteroid city of Brawl, the sprawling hub of merchants and ex-pirates, corsairs, yeah. Sprawling city. Oh, wait, no, no. sprawling, not brawling. Never mind. Yeah. I was going to do really good um, What have Kurt and Marzina been up to in the decades since we've seen them? Do we have a gaggle of children? You tell me. Yeah, I reckon that so. was a question, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you take the kids range? across well, the astral plane? Uh, yeah, we're homeschooling. Okay. Oh, How boy. many? <laughs> How much is a gaggle? I'm mean, saying gaggle because that's what Ryan said to me How like many? a year ago. I think like you'd say a gaggle. Plus. Yeah, um, I'd say, I'd say like, I think like six. Okay. Yeah, I go. Uh, of Hold varying up. ages, you see your oldest child kind of coming down from uh, the top of the crow's nest, sliding down this uh, air genasi. Kind of lands down. He looks around. Damn, Pop! Hurry up! I'm hurrying. See a couple of your other kids come out. They're all not really here on a job job. More so like, a, oh, it's a light cargo. We'll drop it off and then head back. Um, probably the first time that most of your kids have been here. But through thick and thin and through it all, you all are here. Continuing another journey of your own. Uh, Yuri. You're out for a walk in the fresh morning. Decades of working has dulled your senses, but you can always spot when someone's trying to watch you. You take a seat in one of the many city squares of Zargos. What do you do as you feel eyes on you? Um, I think he'll just take out a small little knife and he'll just start like chopping up like an apple he grabbed up at a stall. Um, and just like just waiting you hear you can even at your older age you can hear when someone is trying to sneak up behind you and they're getting closer it's a bit clumsy you should step with the front of your foot not the back kind of sheepishly stepping out from the shadows is this individual dressed in these robes. There's a staff on their back. She has purple drow skin, this deep coloration. Um, sorry. Are, are you, you Yuri? That is my name, yes. Um... I, I wanted to ask for your help if you're that Yuri. I don't know if you still do that thing, but I was sent here by my master. Depends on the help. Uh, I need connections. I'm looking for something, and my master told me to find you. You seem like the person that could help me with that sort of thing. Getting allies and setting off. Hmm. Walk with me. Um, you walk with this girl. And I'll just, we'll go um, slowly. I'll just kind of just ask questions about herself. Just make pleasant talk. And we'll go into yep. the three daggers. Um, and he'll say his hellos to people. Take off his heavy coat. And then he'll just slip behind the bar. and just. <sighs> so what can I get you? Oh, I, I don't drink a tea. Tea works. Okay. She kind of nurses it. She kind of looks around. What else? Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if this is rude, but I thought you'd be taller. I used to be. Yeah. Um, my master said he'd rem you'd remember him. Um... He said that he trusts you with his life. He said he'd, he'd remember how hard he punched you. Shut
um, white hair or red hair? Red now. That's what I thought. Um, nope, doesn't ring a bell. Okay, he also said you'd say that, but thanks. Bartholdi and Chloris, you have taken residency in Lucia for the past few years. The cold north has been your home. After many times at supper, both in Fregaria to visit your family, Bartholdi, it is another supper time at home, not at one of the restaurants. Bartholdi, your older bones creak under the holding of a kitchen knife chopping. Maybe 30, 40 years have passed since our story. Your children running around now older, Heading their own exploits. They haven't stopped by for dinner in a while, but you do have plans for them to come soon. In fact, you believe it's them when there's a knock at your door. Chloris, you open the door to see two men, both looking maybe less than 10 years older. Zarek and Vaxlam. Zarek now cropped hair, a small stubble on his face, and Vaxlam, wild long hair. It looks like the power of time hasn't diminished them. Looks like wherever they were, time didn't affect them significantly. Warriors haven't aged much either. Hey, look at that. We made it back. Well, what happened? Well, I was Zarek kind of starts. I was hoping we could come in for dinner. Yes, come in. It's a unique shock, Bartholdi, your aging human body, looking at this ASMR and this other human, both who haven't aged, and you enjoy this dinner. You you learn that Zarek and Vaxlin have been on a personal quest. They've been traveling the cosmos, acting as a sort of guardian force, kind of continuing that will of being a small hope in the light. Eventually, after stores are swapped, dinner is finished, Sarek is kind of talking to you, Chloris, and he goes, I told you I wouldn't waste it. No. You didn't. I just bring my arms around them. Like, you're done. I'm so proud of you. He brings you into a tight hug. And then Vaxlin and Barth all the... Yeah, go ahead, Chloris. I was like... You should see Aram! She takes after you! After me? And Bart. And Bart. Oh, um, both Weird, of you. but okay. She's so good with a sword, I can't. It's amazing. It's been Revenge. a while since someone said our names. It feels good. One final tight squeeze as Vaxlin and Bartholdi, as you kind of are sitting, Vaxlin gets up. Let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're saying. Nope. For the Let's weekend. Go. You have to meet our children. Him and me. Let's go. I'll be fine hey. here. He just gets up and follows him. You walk to the back door where there's a small clearing. Vaxlin takes his great sword out and toss it on the ground he looks around and in the snow foliage he grabs these two switches catch as far as you go okay catch mm -hmm. no but he catches it go, uh, I... yeah i want to i want to cast a regeneration and a greater restoration on both of them for sure he's not like sick he's just old no, no. you know i know for sure <laughs> you kind of bolster him up a bit and he goes vaxlin looks it's not gonna help you you know no it isn't you got a score to settle. Thank you. I mean, it, very well. You see that Vaxlim at first, like, holds back, but your old, like, muscle memory kicks in and you're fighting back with these switches until eventually you come locked. He parries the stick out of your hand and puts it in front of you. <sighs> and he drops it. Yes, he won. No. I just wanted to see you again. That's the best way I know how to talk. <laughs> I 
it's always been the best talking with you. That's why I had to kind of give it up. You and Cove kind of, in different ways, have taught me why I didn't need it anymore. Yeah, well, tosses you the switch. Let's talk some more. And you notice that the sword isn't at his side. And all the times you've seen him in the past, that sword is still on his side. <laughs> Looks like you found someone worthy, huh? I don't know if she could fill your shoes, but she's great. Every light that shines in the darkness is brilliant. And you two continue on clashing weapons. And as we end our story, I kind of want to take a second. The theme of this story morphed very quickly into a found family and almost discovering who you are. Whether it was Bart regaining his memories and Cove coming to understand himself as an individual with much power, or Clora saving her old home and then her new home. Whether it was Marzina coming to challenge her faith for her family, Kirk coming to pave his own way away from the border set for him, or Yuri learning to stand with others just as high. In playing this campaign, we were able to tell a story about people who came together and found a new family. But in doing so, we told our own story of people who came together and found their own family. You know, in the future, we'll continue to laugh and we'll continue to cry. And we'll continue to tell new and grand stories as a family. But this one was our first one. And though it's not our last story, it is over. But no matter how far we go, no matter what kind of stories we tell, and no matter what worlds we go to, no matter what battles we'll face, this was our first story. And it, much like our characters, will always be with us, and it will always remain. I thank you guys so much yeah, for giving yeah. me the honor and privilege to DM you over these three years. There is not a single other person that I would have rather told the story with. And I thank every day how blessed I was to meet every single one of you and play this game with you. I love you guys so, so much. And thank you so, so much. Love you too, man. Love you too, love man. You too. We Let's love do it you again. So much, <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's find a character for campaign two. Oh, damn it, Cover yourself. <laughs> so campaign two session starts in ten minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you're still at the forge, I do want to show you one final gift before we. Turn. Oh wait, let me open it up. Oh fuck! Give me a fucking second. It's oh the man, dude, I got. I can't room. see. Everything's blurry, AJ. Don't do it yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh yo. Whoa. Oh, it, shit. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. It's a new map. I want to make sure I've seen the right thing. It is. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck is this? What the oh, fuck is all Derek? this? I don't know. Listen, man. Creative liberties. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm... I love it. Hold up. Where have you, where you three whole ginormous whole... Hold up. Hold up. What is this that will be here? What is this three ginormous oracles by themselves over here? The edge of the world. <laughs> The freaking Shi Lao like insert, bro, where it's yeah. the same color on both sides. Holy yeah. shit, dude. Yeah. After it blew up, it went back. Yeah. That was crazy. Uh, I'm Jesus making a hero said. for a sh of Yuri that's old. <laughs> I would make one for Cove, but he went to the I'm... beach that makes you old. <laughs> I'm up. I'm I made like a hair fort of a course during the ringmaster coat. I, I know, I know it's not, I know it's not canon, last thing. but in my, last thing. 
This is I know it's not Canada. I'll go. The Eastern Continent where we're starting. Whoa. Oh, great. No hope there's no hags in that Cassius Swamp. Nibble peak! There are hags, because we didn't defeat yeah. all of them. There are two oh, left. I thought that Wouldn't was... Wouldn't that be uh... a sad? Let's get into our wrap-up, gang! I thought that was nipple Woo. peak, by the way. Nah, I was going peak. to say for the wrap-up, <laughs> I have so many questions. Let's do it! Can we, can we take a five-minute break? Yes, let's please take a five-minute break. I need to let's go, go to nipple peak, y'all.